Hello, Pete here, and welcome to CrowdRising.net. A real quick uh, tutorial here on how to upgrade, how to comp, how to pay it forward for someone if you wish to do that, and uh, how, to s how the payment system works and how to set it up, and some screenshot uh, options that you have. So let's start off with making sure that uh, when you're logged into your back office that you have some accounts added to receive payments. And accounts meaning any payment processor your PayPal, whatever. You click this button, add new account, and in here you can add whatever you wish, PayPal. So in this example here, let me just add PayPal, and you'd add whatever your email address is for PayPal. So let's uh, just enter something here for the sake of uh, this tutorial, and save it. Now it's saved. Now you've got two. You can add up to seven. Next thing we want to do is, and what we want to cover here is how to comp, how to pay it forward for someone. So you go to your referral list here and uh, you see, well this account has two uh, people that are in. Five you can have personally on your front line, right? So this account has three more people that will actually donate $20 to this particular individual. So let's say you decide to pay it forward for someone. You want to comp someone. Go to your link. It's found in promotion here. Copy your referral link here give it to the person that you wish to invite or go sign them up directly. So you go copy the link and once you've done this, you get them to basically just register. And when they register, you want them to go through the process of upgrading. And that's what we're gonna cover on this tutorial. Now, as you can see, this account here is uh, got a, a membership stage two. So it's it's got the 20 and it's got the $40 level. Let's say this account wants to upgrade, or your account, you want to upgrade to the next level. You click the Upgrade Next Level. You read the instructions. They're very clear here, actually, if you take the time to read them. And you go down here. The system will automatically assign you to someone. So in this demo account, it's going to go to support here at crowdrising.net, where this account needs to make its donation. Then it shows the payment details of the uh, person that you're going to be uh, doing the donation to. So you have the options, you select one of the options, whichever. Let's say you want to send Bitcoin or you know Solid Trust Pay, there's a username, but you grab the Bitcoin wallet address, for example, here, and you would copy that, go to your Coinbase or Circle or wherever you have your Bitcoin, and you would uh, submit that. Now, after you've done that, you confirmed that you've sent the Bitcoin, you would put in here your account number here. So obviously for Bitcoin, you don't really have an account, just you'd put Coinbase or Circle or whatever. Let's say I sent it for my Coinbase, put Coinbase right here. And then the transaction ID, obviously you'll receive that in your in your uh, back office. If I go to uh, my back office here on uh, either Bittrex or wherever, I can go and I can go get a transaction ID off of any transaction, I can send Bitcoin, so real straightforward, and you can find your history right here. So you can grab your history of the um, particular transaction, do a screenshot. I use Lightshot, it's simple, it's easy. So you get uh, Lightshot loaded here, and the screen shades out. You just go and draw a box around the area you wish, and then you go and save it. If you want to save it to file, you go here, save it to your desktop, you just want to create a quick URL, you do that. Okay, let's go back to Crowd Rising. We've done that. We're uploading an image right now. So you'll see in the bottom here, as soon as we have a URL, I can go copy, and I've got the uh, URL now. So now I don't need to upload anything. It saves you a lot of time. So in here, you can just, uh, here is the proof. So you just paste the URL in. So if I want to go and view that um, link there to just verify that it is correct so let me go and paste that into the browser here and hit enter and it's going to show us the actual screenshot so it's light shot the url is prnt.sc so is the url if you want to go download it for free you can do so now let's go back to the back office now you've done this you've copied the transaction id in here as well if you wish to do that it's a good idea. Always include as much information as you can. The amount. Now here's where it's really important that you do not add a dollar symbol here. That all you do is 60.00. That's the third. That's the third um, step up uh, stage here. So in the uh, transaction ID again, you'd put your transaction ID, whatever it was, and you've now 
created a URL for a screenshot or you can save it the way you normally do and upload it here. There's two options here. If it's really big, you gotta use this one, 800 by 800, 500 KBs maximum, and you submit it. Now, I'm not gonna submit that here, but uh, it just gives you uh, a clear cut example on how to do that. Now, when you receive the donation, the person submits that, you will see a pending notification in your back office. So in your pending notifications here, um, obviously there are none right now, you'll, you'll be faced with two options, approve or reject. Now obviously you would approve that if you received the funds or if you agreed to comp this person in. Now when I say comp, let's say someone that you chose to pay it forward to, uh, you say it's a sign up, go through the motions, like pretend you're sending me the money, don't actually send it, but just pretend, I'm gonna honor you, I'm gonna accept you, so that's what you need to do. You need to also make sure your profile's totally up to date and every time you want to step up to a higher stage, you go click this button and just go follow the simple instructions as we just did, as we just showed you on this tutorial. So I hope this was helpful. Again, your referral link is found in promotion. Only send in a support ticket if you actually have a, a real serious support issue and that you need help. We have a Skype room and a Facebook group as well to help you with all of your um, questions. Many wonderful volunteers in there as well. So. Fill out your profile and uh, we'll see you on the next tutorial.